What is up, you guys? Makai from Total Eclipse Gaming bringing you some more of uh, a series that hasn't been going on for a while. Uh, I apologize for the lack of videos, but I wasn't able to record over the weekend because I don't normally do that. And uh, I just, I don't think I did anything on Friday either, so I went about three days uh, in between of playing this game and then not playing it. So there was a big gap in between. I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, it's going to be some more home, and uh, we're just going to continue here. This might be kind of a short episode. I like that it just throws you right into the fray. Let me turn up my volume here. Yeah, get that ambience, ambience going. Okay, here we go. Very much like the art in this game. Very pretty. Animation is good. Oh yeah, I can see the limp now. The way that my character's body kind of just, like, jerks. Okay, I gotta get used to the controls. I have been playing a lot of Lone Survivor. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a mechanist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. <laughs> I sure hope for your sake that it was in fact the wind, sir. Whoa, that's a giant gaping hole. Oh, isn't that dandy? Ah, okay, okay. I like the look of this area. I'm just gonna leave. If you don't mind. <clears throat> One second. Yeah. Ray, why why must you text me? You smelly person. Okay, that I don't feel like that sound fit there, but at least it had a gate. What the f I found the body of a security guard, just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wondered, was this flashlight his? Oh, sh... Uh, that's not good. I don't like that. Dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. First my wallet, and now this. Did I retrieve my watch? Well, yeah. The watch was useless, but I put it on my wrist anyway. Well, okay, you know, why not? I wish I could remember. Why was all my stuff missing? Okay. Okay, so we got a watch, and we found the body of the security guard. That could add to uh, some of the thing. That is very creepy. Okay, what's down here where the noise came from? One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around, like someone had been looking for something. Isn't that great? That's a warning. Ain't that just a not at all creepy looks like it has eyes machine. The door was locked shut, and there was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted to the front that said, Danger, closed for repairs. Great. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear, and cobwebs had collected on the corners. <sighs> the box wasn't receiving power. Okay, so maybe I have to power that. The door was locked tight. It seemed to be connected to the power box beside it. Okay, so it's electronically locked. So I need to go up the stairs over here, and go up. And fix that. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. Well, I'm going to go look at that. The board contained yellowed clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Okay, that's not that helpful to me at this moment. Okay. Our old break table. The layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. Okay, so I'm going to assume our character liked working there. Like the people or something? So let's do all we can on this floor first. Oh, that is really creepy. What's that? Aha! Okay, so this is a switch. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the, push the switch? Yes, you did. Uh, that's not on. The power panel still wasn't working. Should I switch it again? Yes. <laughs> I have learned from you, game. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. It was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out, and the face was unrecognizable. Okay, that's good. Oh, yet another one. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. Uh, okay, it was working. So some of them work at different levels. It was shut tight. There was a rusty-looking card slot on the side. Okay, maybe I need a key card. So let's limp our way over here. I love that. Not at all. 
Oh, this is creepy. Okay. Let's go. The door had been hastily boarded up. Wow. I keep hearing a beeping noise in the background. This was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when he worked there. Maybe it wasn't him. Under the panel that I hoped could help me get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Yep. Okay, so that's on. Ay -ay -ay. A utility shelf, crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Why not? As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. I sense a murder weapon. The locker was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take the card? Absolutely. I slipped the key card into my pocket. I'm gonna need that. Another panel that I hoped could help me get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Yep. Let's do that again. What? Power panel still wasn't working. Should I switch it again? Oh, I see. So there's a certain amount of times you have to do it. Another panel that I hope. Blah, 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 I've read that enough times. Alright, so that's four or five? That's five. That is indeed five. So we will make our way over to this door here very slowly. Slowly but surely. Cautiously. So no more stairs up, so now we go down. And then down again. Yeah, I hear things. Okay. Power box looked like he was running again. Can this open now? The door opened now that the power was back on. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. I don't like this. I don't want to be here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving! Sorry. Jerk. <sighs> Wish the lights were on. I don't think I've ever wanted lights to be on in a game, ever. I mean, even in Amnesia, I felt okay because I had my lantern. I'm gonna have to pause the video in a second here, guys. So, give me one moment. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so we were gonna use the card on this. The key card I found seemed like it would pass through this reader. Did I use the key card? Why not? I can think of plenty of reasons why not. Okay. We've got a light, a hatch. What's down the hatch? There's some kind of ventilation hatch there. It looked like I could jump to the room below. I really didn't want to damage my leg anymore, but I jumped down. Yep. Jesus, my leg was shooting with pain. I wasn't going to be able to move too quickly on it. Am I slower now? I'm slower. That's annoying. There was a crumpled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily and it was hard to make out. Did I try to read the letter? Yes. Most of the letter was violently scratched out with what looked like to be a ballpoint pen. All I could make out was, need to, just don't, drinking, need, Norman. Who was Norman writing to? Okay, so, this looks like a spot that we couldn't get to before. But, that could have been something important. The smell of dirt and trees washed over me as I escaped the old factory. Thought of the guard I had found. Some pine against the fence. Looked like he'd been dealt a serious blow and hadn't a clue what was coming. But why? Why kill a guard? I had to keep going. To find Rachel. I hoped the dirt trail in front of me would lead me closer to town. And I thought, to help. Oh, great. We're back in the woods. Wait, I just want to check if it's saved. If I gave up now, the last thing I remember would be exiting the factory. Did I quit? No, I've got time. Okay, what do we have here? Wow, that is beautiful art right there. That's perfect. I love it. Rusty old truck. It careened off the road and into the guardrail. Its front was crushed and its window was, uh, or its windows had all been smashed. Judging by the rust, it had been there a while. Okay, I see. Oh, I see. That's the back right there. That's awesome. 62s. Leave. Leave. Nobody likes you. Freaking eyes. I'm so darn slow. Okay, what is in this direction? Back to that old screechy noise again. 
garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes. I cleaned the card off as best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card, and now this. I tucked the card into my wallet, next to my credit card. Okay, good, so we did find our driver's license. Sounded like it was going to start raining again. Yay, rain. Ah, uh, that nice relaxing noise. I'd entered Norman's place. This is the back of the store that he ran. Loudly quiet, except for the faint sound of a television. Ooh, a new house. Okay, let's go whatever's on this floor. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. Looks like I couldn't just pop it open. I needed a key. There's a bit of blood on the keyhole. Okay, so I need a key, which I will probably... Leave. Hello? Which I'll probably find upstairs. Okay, I see blood. Let's not walk towards that. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> it's very creepy. What the hell? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on a rack. That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing here? Oh, great. I sense bad things. Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and even a few items I didn't even think were legal here. One of the slots on the rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others there. The handgun was Norman's. What the hell was he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? Yes. I carefully pushed the piece back into place and felt a great burden lifted. Why not? Because I don't see me. Hmm. Just hearing things. Let's just keep walking. I hear the television. What was this? It looks like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wonder where it led. Did I pull the chain? Yep. I gave the chain a single tug, and a simple folding ladder to the attic popped down. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, television. The TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. Norman. Jesus, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker and one of the few friends I had in this town, lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been shot trying to get up. His eyes were wide with shock, though they were already drying. Norman, what was Rachel doing here? Why did you have her coat? Norman, maybe you deserved better. You probably did. Did I close his eyes? Yeah. I closed his eyelids down, shuddering as I did so. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace, or if I just couldn't stand to think any more about what was going on. That is really depressing. <clears throat> I guess this is Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. Okay. Kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yes. Find a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. Okay. I don't hear any footsteps. That's a little annoying. Well, there isn't a noise for my footsteps here. Up the ladder. Hey. There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? I opened up the old cardboard box and wasn't entirely surprised by what I saw. There were more of Rachel's things. More of my wife's clothes. Photo shoes. Even that old radio I gave her. Why, Rachel? What were you doing here with Norman? <sighs> Fair, maybe? Are you dumb? Like, I mean, even I can guess this. Where else is there to go? There isn't another floor. So, what? I used the hairpin to pick the lock. Oh, the hairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. I see. The general store was small, but it was clean. I had the usual things. Postcards, snacks, magazine, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. Okay, of course she did. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. They were probably thinking of leaving. 
The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. Okay. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. <clears throat> it looked to be in much better shape then. Okay. It had been weeks since I'd last seen Norman, and finding him that way still left me cold. Thinking of him, slumped against that chair, only cemented my reassurance in getting rid of that gun. Looked like someone had taken that piece from his store, but why is it in those tunnels? As I stepped outside, I recalled that dusty old box of clothes in Norman's attic. I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers, but I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. Okay, it doesn't save you. I go, now, the last thing I would remember would be leaving Norman's store. Did I quit? Yes, indeed. Alright, I will see you guys in the next episode of Home. This was actually a longer episode than I thought would be. Apologies for the frame rate counter, that's definitely annoying. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.